Hello guys, welcome to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and let's start our Kotlin Instagram clone app using Firebase. So go to Android Studio and let's create a new project. So start a new uh, Android Studio project. Click on this empty activity. Okay, not empty activity. Here we have to choose the bottom navigation activity. Okay, make sure to select this one, which is bottom navigation activity. Then click next. From here, uh, you can give name to this application. So let's give it a name. We can give it a name as uh, Instagram clone app. So this is the name of our project Instagram clone app and uh, make sure that Kotlin is selected from here and also make sure to choose this use Android X artifacts which is the latest Android library okay so make sure to choose this and then click finish and API 19 is selected okay so choose this and then click finish and our new project is about to launch now if the project is launched successfully then that is okay i mean that is your good luck okay now also i mean still the gradle is running but uh, one thing which we uh, i mean if you get an error like this uh, and let me tell you most of the people uh, of you among you will not get any error okay here you can see it is completed successfully but if you get, uh, I mean, you have seen this half screen here where there is written that is failed. So it is basically the uh, build failed, which you can uh, correct it by just come here, okay, and click on this refractor, okay. This is for all the people who create this new project, okay. Uh, doesn't matter when you are watching it. I mean, at the time of uh, recording, this is 2019, okay. So it doesn't matter if you are watching this uh, tutorial uh, in 2020 or 21 or whatever in the future. Then when, whenever you create a brand new project, okay, just like I create now in front of you guys. After that, just come here and click on this refractor. And when you click on it, here you will have this thing, which is migrate to Android X. As I told you, Android X is the latest Android uh, library, okay. So just uncheck this and click migrate. So we have to develop thing using the Android new uh, and uh, new and latest version or libraries. Okay, so click on this do refactor. And yeah, everything is okay. So once uh, everything is completed, then you will get this activity, which is our bottom navigation activity, which we choose as our uh, main activity here you can see these are the default things which are here but we will change it so anyways first of all uh, let's come here to the styles okay from here here you can see we have this dark action bar remove this and write no and then you will see this uh, suggestion no action bar just click on it okay and no action bar now the next thing is to give i mean to specify some beautiful colors for our this app so come here to the colors and from here we can say so the first color which we will use is the code for this is 5 capital C 3 2 C 7 okay 5 C 3 2 C 7 then the second color which is uh, primary dark 5 C capital C okay 3 2 C 7 which is the same color as above and the color ascent will be f f hash f f 68 a 5 68 a 5 so i hope you seen the color let me uh, zoom this so that you guys can see it more clearly so yeah i mean i hope you can now see this uh, chord I mean the editor text clearly and easily now the next thing is to add two more colors so copy paste this two time and make sure to change the name of this this one will be color black and this last one will be color blue 
and make sure to change the uh, color code I mean C2 then B D B F then the last one is triple five two capital F capital F so yeah that's it now just close this and come here to the module app I want to show you guys the Android X libraries okay here you can see it Android X Android X and here you can see it Android X so this is I mean we are going to develop this project using the latest and new versions of Android libraries which is the Android X okay so yeah I mean uh, now the next thing is to add this uh, I mean adds uh, icons to uh, this uh, navigation so for this what we're gonna do is uh, let's just come here and the most important thing is to change over this constant layout first okay so make sure to select this to here and change this to relative layout now the next thing is we have our this I mean we have to move over this bottom navigation view to the bottom so how we can do it first of all uh, when we remove that constant layout here you can see the width is 0 and the height is rep content make sure to change the width to match parent okay and then we have to move it to the bottom so all you're gonna need is just to type align parent bottom true and here you can see it now the next important thing is we have this hello world let's uh, change the this is just for the testing I mean we are using this hello world so that we can test our this navigation options so anyways now for now we can say match parent and then uh, let's move it layout center in center vertical true okay and then text align will be at the alignment at the center and yeah that's it so let's change the text size first and it will be 14 dp 14 is not that visible so we can give it 25 okay so yeah <coughs> this is our uh, home now the next important thing is to add nav options so for that uh, so I will provide a link to all the app icons which we will use in this project okay uh, you can just unzip the, I mean first download this uh, from the link which I will given in the description down below you can just click on it and download all these icons okay uh, here you can see it make sure that it has all this uh, I mean uh, everything which is mentioned here now once you uh, download this all you're gonna need is just to copy this whole thing copy it and just go to your Android Studio and from here we have this drivel just click on this drivel and show in Explorer go to the drivel folder and just paste that here okay and click on this replace the files in the destination folder so yeah here now you can see it you will get make sure that you have all these icons okay so once you do this then close it and now come back to the Android Studio and what we're gonna do here now is to go to the layout okay here menu bottom nav menu.xml which is which belongs to our main activity for the bottom navigation view okay options so here you can see the first one is home so we want yes the home will be the same I mean as the home icon is already available by default so if you want basically we have also our home icon that we just passed in our drivable folder okay so you can use that icon if you want and then uh, the name of this will be home now the second one it will be let's change this okay so we can give it a name as home then we have our first of all let's change the second nav option will be search and and we do not want any title for this okay so remove this home title from here we just want an icon and yeah now also remove this one as we do not want this but without it you will get this error so control Z okay I am going to show you what we're gonna do just um, leave this null okay 
leave this null also remove this leave this as null option and now uh, search after this we will have add icon from where the user will basically uh, add or upload new uh, post or pictures uh, to over this Kotlin Instagram clone app so let's add the icon for this and it is by the name add in our drivable folder here you can also see it okay now uh, let's just copy paste this two times more and then the other one will be heart icon and let me tell you you can also uh, remove i mean uh, remove this android title okay it doesn't matter you will not get any error but anyways we have already make it null so it doesn't matter i mean whatever we do with it okay so yeah now the next thing is heart and then the last one is which is basically the notification icon okay and then the last one will be our uh, profile i mean profile icon on which the user will click so we will send the user to the profile page now make sure to change the uh, ids for all these so the first one we can say nav home and then we can say nav search and then we can say nav not not uh, sorry it is aired so aired underscore post and then heart this one is for notifications so you can say nav notifications and then the last one is for for the profile so we can say nav profile and by the way this one i mean this is the profile picture as a default which we will use for the profile this is not the icon okay this is a picture so we have another icon by the name profile underscore icon make sure to select that one okay which you will see here okay you can see it so yeah everything is okay now the next thing is to go to our main activity which is our main activity dot kt which means this is our kotlin activity as we are developing this instagram app using kotlin with Firebase real-time database. So, anyways, first of all, make sure to change. Our first option is nav home. Nav home. Then we have a nav search. Then the third option will be nav at post. And then we have to copy paste this. Now here I want to mention one more important thing. But first, let me write this. Then we have nav heart. Where it is, where it is, nav underscore, sorry, nav notifications, I mean, which is the heart icon, okay, nav notification, here you can see it, nav notifications, and then the last one is nav profile, so yeah, now the next important thing is, okay, first of all, let me tell you that is do not give any extra space here, okay, I mean, if you just move this curly rest to the next line, then you will get error okay so do not give any extra space just leave the thing as it is you will understand it when we further proceed okay this is not java this is kotlin okay so do not give any extra space and something like this and here you can see even uh, we do not give a semicolon at the end of uh, our any simple code line okay so this is the text view basically which we are accessing if i show you then this one okay which is our uh, home uh, hello world text to which we just changed i mean hello okay so we will access it uh, for our nav options that is when a user click on it okay and here you can see we are setting the text to it okay here you can see it when a user uh, click on any nav options then we are uh, basically notify the user that you just click on notifications and the home and so on so now we have to change our this thing to i mean we have to pass some string to it so the first one is our home the second one is our search and the third one is our notifications sorry add post and then the fourth one is our uh, notifications and then we have our this one which is our profile 
so that's it i mean uh now basically let me tell you what this thing is basically this is our own i mean our bottom navigation okay and this is the listener now whenever uh, and first of all let me tell you one more thing here you can see we have this bottom navigation view which we are and the idea of this is nav view we are accessing it here in our own create here you can see it okay we are accessing it by their id nav view and then uh, this is our text view i mean to which we provide the id here and then we have our this nav view dot set on navigation listener which is basically here okay a listener that will listen that is when a user click on this nav home then it will display home and when a user click on nav search it will display search and the same for the other options so now i'm going to test the app and now you will understand everything more easily now before testing the app come here to the bottom uh, sorry our activity main.xml file and here is our bottom navigation okay now here what we going to do is just to change our background i mean okay first let me check what is wrong here now first of all let's remove this end and start okay layout and start remove this sorry just remove this like this okay in correct way and then we have our this thing doesn't matter just remove these three okay which is bottom bottom of to left of to right of remove this and yeah everything is okay app menu and we are adding here our bottom nav menu which is this one okay these nav options we are accessing it here and we have add this now the next thing is to i mean to make this all icons align here you can see uh, one is above the other ones are down let's add this how we can do it so all you going to need is just here we can just write app label visibility more and it will be unlabeled okay here you can see it now we have to change this background and we can give it as a android color white yeah now everything is okay now let's test our app So the app is running now successfully and here we go congratulations our app is launched successfully and here you can see we are on home if we click on search here you can see search if you click on this add icon add post notifications profile so yeah i mean that is so cool and so incredible so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video tutorial we are going to uh, add our home page our search page and then the remaining pages which is for notifications and the profile and add post so we will work on that in the next few tutorials and then uh, we will connect our app to the firebase and then we can proceed and do some backend things using kotlin so if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and you guys can see the uh, my username on your screen so don't forget to follow me on my instagram account for recent updates okay by username a l i z e b 438 so take care of yourself and bye for now